In this video, we'll look at how to use the Wingate Administration Console to access a remote Wingate server. Wingate can be accessed remotely through any interface, but if you're connecting from the internet via a router, you'll need to map port 808 through to the Wingate server. On the Wingate server that you'll be connecting to, go to Control Panel Services and open the Remote Control Service properties. The Remote Control Service runs on port 808. For connections from the LAN, the service will already be bound to the internal adapter. For a connection from the external adapter, go to the Bindings tab and add a binding policy to bind the service to your external adapter. Note that you can use TLS with a certificate to secure your connection. Wingate will now negotiate a secure connection for connections coming in on that adapter. On the remote machine, run the Wingate 7 installation file. On the What to Install screen, deselect the Wingate server and the extended networking driver. Finish the installation. You do not need to reboot the machine to run the administration console only. Enter the IP address or server name of the server that you are connecting to. Log in with the username and password of your administrator account. The administration console will synchronize its modules and the connection will be established. On the activity panel, the connection from the remote server appears. Just a quick tip, if you are using an enterprise license, you may find the command shell useful when accessing the server remotely. So that's how easy it is to make a connection to a remote Wingate server. If you have any questions or to find a dealer near you, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.